I'm going to do an exercise for American Mahjong using the 2024 National Mahjong League card. I like to call this exercise random pulls. The purpose is to practice identifying the strength of a hand. In American Mahjong, if you start with a multiple, which is pair Pung Kong, that is the ideal way to target the strength of your hand. Sometimes though, you don't get multiples, so you need to look for the predominant pattern. If you're new to Mahjong, or if you already know how to play and just want to build your skills, consider subscribing to my channel. That way you won't miss anything. We're going to do three random pulls, and we are going to alternate between dealer and non-dealer. And that's dealer in name only. The dealer starts with 14 tiles and the other players start with 13. So we'll alternate between 14, 13, and then 14 tiles. We have a joker, red dragon, east, south, four dot, four, five, nine in bams, three, four, seven, eight in cracks, pair five, bam, pair seven crack. If these were your tiles, what would you focus on and what would be your first pass? The first thing that I noticed is the multiples are odds, five, seven. There's no six. We do have threes and fours though. So we could do three, four, five and let the sevens go. Or maybe we could play what I call big odds, five, seven, nine. I think that's what I would focus on, but I would hold an option because we have these two pair plus a nine. That's not enough fodder. So I would probably hold the little numbers and that leaves us with those tiles. I think because I would not pass two wins in a dragon, I might pass one wind with a dragon, but I was thinking that the five bam with a seven crack pair is not gonna use this nine bam. Well, I suppose unless we play the concealed hand where you need pungs of sevens, we need a pair of sevens in here, seven bam, and then a seven dot. That's two gaps. I would rather focus on consecutive run and maybe let the seven go if these littler numbers come in. Consecutive run is far more flexible. So probably I would let the nine go and focus on consecutive run. What would be ideal is to get a six bam, because then we can do five, six bam, seven, eight, five, six, seven, eight. So, or we could do four, five, six, crack, seven, four, five, six, seven. So I would pass those and focus on consecutive run. If you would do something differently on this one, write pull one in the comment section below the video and let me know what you would do with these tiles. We have almost news. One, two, five, eight in dots, five, nine in bams, one, four, seven, eight in cracks. If these were your tiles, what would you focus on and what would be your first pass? If these were my tiles, 
I would focus on the predominant pattern. I see that we do have like numbers with ones, like numbers with fives, like numbers with eights. We have no flowers and almost news. So that would be a potential hand with a pair gap. So I wouldn't recommend that unless we had a flower, of course. The other thing we could do is hold for big odds, five, seven, nine, and we have two fives, a nine, and a seven. As a plan B, I would probably hold the eight for consecutive run with big numbers. So I would, there's another eight in there too. So pass those three and see what comes in. We have five through nine, no six. Potential for like numbers two ways if we get a flower, which does happen, but it's rare. I think that's what I would do here. If these were your tiles, what would you do? Write it in the comment section below with pull two. We have a red dragon, three, four, six, eight in dots, one, five, nine in bams, two, three, seven, eight, nine in cracks with a pair of sevens. If these were your tiles, what would you focus on and what would be your first pass? If these were my tiles, I would start here. We do have the corresponding dragon in consecutive tiles. We have a six and an eight here in that range, maybe even big odds, five, seven, nine. That leaves us with those for passing. I would pass one of each suit. Right there. Seven, eight, nine, six, seven, eight, nine of some kind, maybe big odds, five, seven, nine. If you would do something differently with these tiles, write it in the comment section below with pull three. When you first get your dealt hand, arrange the tiles to get the lay of the land. I like to arrange them in this order. Jokers, flowers, winds, dragons, and then the suits in numerical order. So dots, bams, and then cracks. And that way you can look for the strength of the hand. The strength of the hand will either be something with multiples. So target pair pung if you have them, or you can target the predominant pattern, which will be one of the categories on the card. And then set aside your discards so that you can begin to develop the hand. If you like this video, give me a thumbs up. If you haven't subscribed to my channel, consider subscribing. Click the little gray bell if you do, that way you'll get notification for when I post new videos and you won't miss an opportunity to learn a new strategy or pick up an insight to the game that could give you an advantage at the table. Between now and the next video, may all your picks be keepers.